came in two pounds under the limit. Macaronelli 197, the biggest disparity in reach. Two hey. o'clock in the morning. What an incredible scene here in London, England. Incredible pride and unbelievable. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks, fighting out of and proudly representing Swansea, Wales. He weighed in at a trim and ready 14 stone, one pound or 197 US pounds. With a record of 28 wins, one attempt to unify the division, he is making the fourth defense of his title. Please welcome the hard-hitting WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World, introducing Enzo Big Mac McAvernelli. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with red trim, living in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus and hailing from London, England. He weighed in at a ready 14 stone, two pounds, or 198 US pounds. His record stands at 20 wins, one defeat, 19 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the explosive WBC and WBA cruiserweight champion of the world known as the Haymaker. big ring but if someone does get in trouble they're gonna have a hard time getting away the crowd and a roar right at the outset hey very dangerous early his money punched the big right right now here's the first punch is a left hook by Macronelli that sent hey back you know hey and, uh, Macronelli can counter him with the left hook and he did there this first couple of rounds very important for Enzo Macronelli better shot at winning this fight because he can really do better if Hay thinks he can take him out early wild swing and a miss by Hay Hay has a habit of carrying the left hand. both men want to establish the jab but both have been loath to feather of Joe Calzaghi been with him for two years and he feels it's made a monstrous difference in this fight that left hook by Macronelli made David Hay at least a little cautious. Both have been down and gotten up to win. Right hand, Lansing Gray. The right hand missed, the left got in by Hay. And they can knock you out with any punch. That's absolutely right. Hayes was shot one of his fights and lost his only loss uh, in the first round. Hay just missed with Pressa knockdown in that fight. You know, we're seeing two fighters respectful of each other's power. And yet, every once in a while, they try to land a haymaker. The only one of Enzo Macarinelli made a difference. There he kind of, well, actually it was more a stumble, but he did get that left to him as he, and really it's the idea, it did land a little bit on the head, it's the idea that he's going to counter with the left hook, Mac. Later on, David Hay was able to get that right-handed, and then the hook, you know, David Hay doesn't throw that punch, and you saw two, two scheduled for two. 12 for the WBC and WBO Cruiserweight Championships. Enzo Macronelli went up to 217 not long ago, and stopped Thomas Bonin in a minute 45. And that's the way he'll fight at as both men are very wary of the other's power, and they don't want to um, commit and leave themselves open. Oh, big right hand by David. Well, that's the first big punch. Let's see if he's... Macronelli answers with a left hook. Macronelli seems okay after that big punch. Took it well. And another right hand by Hay. Hammering away is David Hay. He's, Hay's getting in over with Macronelli. It's a little bit lazy coming back. There's the hook by Macaroni. Lacey card two years ago. Big right hand by Hay. Macaroni is rocked in the corner, and he goes down. Boy, the referee may be over. Unsteady legs. Only the second round. He's got a minute remaining. And the fight is John Keen has stopped the fight in the second round. And it's David Hay. Oh, a like that. It took John Keen a long time to get in. 
a lot more punishment after that, but nevertheless, the power of prison very early. Short fashion. Blood coming from the left back, just as I was beginning to say that Macronelli had struggled. David Hinn's right hand to get in and get in powerfully. It is a tremendous punch, and for this man, Enzo Macronelli, it created a three-year-old Carl Thompson, a cruiserweight, who, of course, was a powerful puncher, and you did Thompson fights, you know that. But if he can We're left a little disappointed. I, th I thought this would be a shootout. I really did. And I thought Macarinelli, if he got through these early rounds, would be able to, to receive. Who grew up in the shadows of the O2 Arena does not disappoint his legion. David Hayes! So du jour was there tonight, unfortunately for Enzo. Macarinelli and it landed early. Now early Again, on, land the right hand. Now here, that's really a knockdown there, and the referee didn't really come in to stop the action. That created a problem for Macarinelli, and, and ultimately it would be a very disappointing second round. And so knockout. those early rounds that people were concerned about in the Macarinelli corner were in fact Before difficult. Before this, um, was it because your left was a little low coming back from the jabs? Well, you, you can see, you know, I didn't see there. Didn't you know, I'm slowly starting to recover, and I think he just caught me. Um, yeah, I dropped pulled my hands out to hold them. Third man of the ring finally stepped in. There's one. There's a barrage, a torrent of punches, a fusillade, an onslaught. Final right hand just ended. it. He is on very unsteady legs. Enzo Magnet. John Keane giving him a quick count and then saying, that's enough, my boy. It's all over. Well, he, uh, out of there very early as David Hay made good on his prediction. Now, the to be the two best cruisers, the best heavyweights in the world. It's a heavyweight, heavyweight boxers in there. I'm coming for you, all of you. you can't How you scored the, uh, the knockout? Yeah, yeah, I, I could see exactly what he was doing. I know what shots he was throwing yeah, before. The, the difference between one and two is a big, big difference. You know, the cruiserweight division is a great division. You know, you got great fighters like um, yes, I was working with uh, BJ. And I'm positive BJ Plaw is going to clean up. I did a bit of sparring with him, and I, he was definitely better than oh, Macronelli. I'm going to be heavyweight champion in the world. As I said, I do not lie. Right, well, the cruiserweights are an excellent division. Not where you're going to be yeah, now. Speed. You, and he's quick, and he's not going to fight at 230 or 240. He fought at 217 as a heavyweight. All right, a memorable night in the life of David Hay. We hope it here at the O2 Arena. And for another edition of Showtime Championship Boxing for Al Bernstein, our entire crew, Steve Albert saying so long from London, England.